In the normal brain, we can see that the, the folds of the brain are very full and tightly packed together. Whereas in the brain of someone with Alzheimer's disease, we can see that the folds are much narrower than they are in the healthy person and the gaps between the folds are actually much wider and these changes represent a shrinkage of the brain which is due to damage and loss of nerve cells. If we peel away the linings over the surface of the brain we can see the extent of shrinkage even more clearly. In a person with Alzheimer's disease, the brain is obviously shrunken. Here is the hippocampus, and we can see the size of it in the normal brain. If we compare that in the person with Alzheimer's disease, we can see the hippocampus is much shrunken, as is, is the rest of the temporal lobe and other parts of the brain as well. This is emphasised when we compare the hippocampus in the Alzheimer's disease person on the top and the healthy individual uh, on the bottom.